hello guys i hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel at home with liv um today we are going to be doing a oh let me just spilt my tea there um a baby toy recommendation from zero to six months so i'm basically going to be going through the must-haves i've tried out a huge variety of toys and i'm basically just gonna save you time and save you money and just tell you what they actually need and they don't really need an awful lot if i'm honest so i'm going to be basically going through the things that worked for arlo so first of all go get your cup of tea i've got mine and i don't know whether like this is actually a thing but after the christmas chocolate period has ended even if you still got chocolates and biscuits from christmas i feel like there's a there's like a month period where everyone's trying to like scoff down their chocolate biscuits and their chocolate and things like that because Easter is coming and I have graduated now to the mini eggs, the caramel eggs, because I don't like cream eggs, I think they're gross, but um, yeah, caramel eggs, mini eggs, Maltese bunnies, that's like the elite of the Easter chocolate, um, but yeah, actually mini eggs are too. So I've got my mini eggs, I've got my cup of tea, go get yourself something um, and enjoy the video guys. So first of all, before I get started on the video, as usual, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also give this video a like. It means the world to me. Honestly, I know my account's only small, but I am trying to obviously, I'm still a bit of the egg in my mouth, sorry. Um, I am obviously trying to like learn how to do YouTube videos, I'm trying to find what routine works for me. I'm trying to develop myself. And I think I have come a long way considering I started in November. Um, but, of, but honestly, like, giving me a subscription, give me a subscription? I don't even know the language of YouTube. <laughs> um, even just like subscribing to me and things like that really helped me and just keep me like motivated because YouTube does take a lot of time. Um, but I love doing it, so I'm gonna continue to do it. If you are enjoying my videos, please do subscribe to me um, and let me know below and I will thank you um, for that. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. These are gonna be my top 10 toys to have for babies zero to six months so first thing is a crinkly book crinkly books i would say are up there in the top three of arlo's most favorite things to play with and they are so good for on the go they've got these little things here so this one was from aldi it was like three pounds i think and um, they do them like in so many different places so it doesn't really matter which one it's more of the fact it's got like sounds and textures and things like that so this one is called ocean fun and it's from audi um and it's got like little bits he loves this bit little bits that dangle off it's got the tail um it's got the the thing he just put this in his mouth the narwhal um horn <laughs> and um the turtle and the seahorse and then on the front it's just really 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 crinkly um and he loves this because he, li he literally could just sit there and play with it and scrunch it all day um it's just so entertaining i don't know why um but babies love it and it's got this little strap thing so i um sometimes put this like on his changing bag if we're going out or put it on the back of a seat belt in the car and basically it just like velcros on so you can clip it onto anything and then I remember actually when he was using his playmat a bit more, I used to clip this onto the top of his playmat and he used to just like try and grab it and play with it and things like that. But for a few pounds, honestly, there's hours of entertainment. So you need a crinkly book if you have a baby that's between like, actually, he still loves them now. So it doesn't really matter like what age they are. Um, he still loves these books. So actually I might have to even get some more because they are a must have i would say probably well he's what god he's nearly eight months old i i would actually say this is something zero to 12 months so buy it this one you need to buy okay the next thing on the list is and this is more i wouldn't say it's for like for enjoyment but it's for development um they obviously do enjoy it and they love looking at like the colors and things like that 
but it is really good for the eyesight development. Um, so if you don't know already, when babies are first born, they can only see in black and white for a short period of time. And then colors slowly come in. I think red is the first color. Um, and basically colors gradually come in. So like now, obviously he can see full distance and full color, just like we can. But when they're babies, they can't. They can only see up front. Um, and as time goes on they can see further away and um, obviously the colour scheme develops. So black and white books are amazing. So this one's called Osborne's Baby's Very First Little Black and White Library. I will obviously like link everything below for you in case you want to buy it. I think I got this off Amazon but I can't remember. I will um, have a look and put the link below for you. So this one is missing a book so I think it's in his changing bag but it comes with lots of different themed books. So this one's got babies, going out, animals, and faces. So let me grab this one. So this one's animals. So I'll just show you what they look like. So it's got like cat, duck, polar bear, penguin, and it's basically like high contrast images. And it basically develops their eyesight. So this one, he really likes to have the red in it. His favorite color is still red, I think. Um, yeah so they are fabulous and as well because they're so small you can just pop them in the changing bag if you're going out to i don't know see your family or see your friends or whatever just pop them in your changing bag and um they're, they're very portable and there's four in this and it's that big so they are a must-have i have seen also people get black and white high contrast um things to put on their play mat but I didn't have any of those I found that the books were fine I didn't really want to unnecessarily spend money so the high contrast black and white books are a must-have zero to six months the next thing I will actually pop a little picture up of him because I do have a picture when he was literally like two weeks old playing with this he loved these when he was a newborn and they are these little feet and hand rattles so these clip onto the hands so when they move they're like obviously they jingle and then these go on their feet so when they kick their legs up in the air and stuff they can sort of learn cause and effect and they they obviously know they're sort of like developing how to shake a rattle and things like that when they're really small they can't hold things very well or at all in arlo's case um i think it was probably around two months or a month that he started be able, being able to like grasp things properly um so these are a great alternative because they strap on and they just slide on their feet and they're brilliant so i will link them below they are a must have they are hand and feet rattles so the next thing i have got is the cheapest thing but actually probably the most fun thing it's like a tin foil sheet. So this is literally like two pounds. I think it might have even been one pound. I bought it off of Amazon. Let me just find the actual proper name for it because it, I was looking for ages thinking there was like a, a proper baby name for it. And I was like baby, baby sensory foil and things like that. But let me just show you, let me find what it is called. Okay. So the one that I bought was called Emergency Foil Blanket. It's a two pack. Um, so it was the silver line 226306 Emergency Blanket two pack. And it comes in this massive sheet. It was £2.58 for two tin foil blankets. Um, and the concept of it is obviously because it's crinkly. They love that. Babies love all the crinkly things. So you could put it on top of them or you could actually put the tinfoil underneath them. And that's what I used to do with Arlo. Um, so when he moved, it would go ch -ch -ch, and it would be like all crinkly and he'd love it. And um, the thing that I would say about this, obviously I don't know whether it was just Arlo or um, like any babies, um, do it for short periods of time because for Arlo he got very overstimulated with all the sounds and the crinkles quite quickly he could only do it for I think about five minutes a day or he would start to get quite like irritated and um, just a bit overwhelmed to be honest because it is quite overwhelming isn't it actually yeah I can see why um, the next thing so 
the next thing we've got in our little box is nubby teething ring even though babies don't tend to really get teeth before six months um the teeth are still coming down the gums and receding down and that can actually be quite painful in arlo's case um it's more painful for him in the weeks that the teeth are receding down rather than when they come through it is really good to get these because you'll need them but mostly they're great because it's got a small ring so they can grab this easily so when they learn to grab they can't really grab many things especially big things like for example um not this bit but here if they're grabbing like a rattle it's quite hard for them to do that when they're very very small so the smaller the band and the smaller they have to grasp onto, the more likely they are to learn to grasp. Obviously over time he has been chewing them as he's teething. So they are the nubby teething ring. So I would recommend definitely getting those. He is obviously still using those now. He's got two teeth at the moment. He's got so many more to come. So yeah, they are great. So the next thing on the list is a rattle. So I would say um, he started to use this maybe when he was like three or four months. It was a bit later on just because it was harder to grasp, but I know you can get rattles that have smaller handles. So the smaller, the better, I would say. And any rattle's fine. And it's obviously just that sound and it's that association. So I'm moving my hand and there's sound coming out. And that's basically just developing um, their cognitions and obviously they're um being sort of programmed and tuned to know how to use their body so rattles are amazing um definitely get a few of those if you can okay so next up is the mamas and papas is it papas or papas so next up is the mamas and papas chair let me just get up the information i've also just seen it comes in different colors now since i bought it so I bought it in like a blue colour, but they actually do like a sage green, which I would have preferred. Let me find it here for you. Okay, so it's called the Mamas and Papas Baby Snug Seat and Activity Tray. And I got it in the soft grey. So I don't know whether you can see that. Let me just try and focus it. So I got it in the soft grey. It's £46.99. Oh no, I didn't get it in the soft grey. I got it in the navy. Um, yeah, so they do soft grey navy. They also do the Blossom Pink, Dusky Rose, which I think they've always done, Pebble Grey and the Eucalyptus colour. And the the newer ones, so the Blossom Pink, the Eucalyptus and Pebble Grey are £55, so they're a bit more pricey, which I think is cheeky to be honest. Um, but yeah, the chair is great, but for Arlo he wouldn't be able to sit in it properly without me worrying. I think till he was about five or six months old um, when he could support himself more because they're not strapped in or anything. They do obviously have the table thing in front of them but it just made me feel a little bit uneasy because he was leaning and he's still, he's not a great, lean, he's not a great sitter, he's still not a great sitter. Um, but the reason that I recommend it is, you probably have seen this before if you watch my YouTube videos, the activity station. This, is, this station itself I would, I would, I would actually pay like probably 20, 30 quid for. And the chair's a bonus to be honest. And obviously he's, he's starting to use that now. Um, but the activity station suctions on to high chairs. So when Arlo's kicking off when he wants his food and I put him in the high chair, I will pop this on and suction it on so he doesn't chuck it off. And he'll just play with it and it will distract him and give me the time I need to be able to get his food together and things like that. Um, so it just helps us mums out basically. I love it. I actually do love it. And it has like, you can actually take these off, these little things. So he loves this. It's got like little textured um, elements to it. So obviously he's feeling the different textures. He loves just twisting it around. This one he doesn't use so much. I think it just twists around like that. Um, and then obviously uh, he's got like the little abacus thing here. Um, this flower that he kicks quite a lot. Um, and the balls are in that as well. And it's obviously got the red color, which he loves. And then it's got lots of, uh, like a little book like that that he can open and a mirror on that side. So he loves this and 
he also loves this not just to play with his hands but he loves to kick it so if he's laying down on the mat i'll pop this by his feet and he'll just go he just loves kicking it and making sounds um so this is a lifesaver honestly you do need to get this moving on to our last item so this was actually a multi-pack let me just find the exact price for you so when he was first born i didn't have any toys for him and i sort of had a panic um because i thought well he, he's just a baby he's just going to be sitting there he's not really going to need to interact with anything i just didn't really i wasn't very educated on what babies actually need like we all are when we first have a baby don't get me wrong i'm still not an expert or anything like that we're all learning on the job but these are obviously things that i found that have helped that i will take forward when i next have a baby if i'm lucky enough to do so um so this is a multi-pack and it's from east sun early education on amazon and i'll put the link below for you and it basically comes with a multi-pack of um like baby rattles so it comes with a 10 pack and it says six nine and 12 month kids baby boys and girls um and you can get it on prime as well uh 20 pounds 99 so some of the toys he hasn't really been interested in um so i will just zoom in like this one this octopus he hasn't really been interested in this yet um but he has been interested in the little tambourine which he's got in his changing bag because he's out at the moment um, and he's been interested in this because it's got little things to hold on to so he'll grab onto those and go and it does twist round as well so he started to do that I'd say in the last month he started to be able to twist things and learn to do that but the thing out of the whole pack that he loves the most is this and this is actually the first thing he was able to hold he wasn't able to hold rattles and things like that but it's because it's so thin and narrow he was able to grip that and use both hands and shake it around um so this actually made him be able to hold something so he was holding this for i'd say i will pop a little picture up as well because i do have a picture of him holding this in the summer um but he was holding this i'd say for a few weeks before he was able to hold anything else um and this is multi-pack is great because what you can do as well is you can obviously take some toys out because there's quite a lot in there and give the, give some to your parents give some to whoever's house you go around fairly often and just keep a little bag or stack of toys there um and that just makes it easier on you it makes it more useful because then you are able to obviously not have to pack loads of toys when you're going out to people's houses that you normally go to and it doesn't hurt does it just to give them like one or two toys um so i would definitely recommend that if you are um looking for some toy recommendations um so my top one i would have to say that you need to get i would say this i would actually say this and um, the crinkly book being a close second um this has been good for him from when he was a newborn because he was kicking it and things like that um and now it is just a lifesaver and it gives me time to be able to get things done so i hope you have liked this video um, and found it useful let me know if you're a new subscriber or if you're pregnant um, below i would love to hear from you and also go give me a follow over on instagram at home with Liv. on my grid i'm all about sort of inspo um nursery decor and things like that but on my stories it's all about real life like i will show you everything i'll show you the awkward positions that i get into trying to take pictures making myself look a bit like a fool um i will have a little moan and a rant if i'm having a bad day um and i'll basically just share with you guys the realities of motherhood and i would absolutely love you to join um, me on my motherhood journey and obviously subscribe to my channel and come and say hi over on instagram and yeah i will catch you in the next video guys bye